All right, this is independent practice for 8.3. Number one, we have to write some equations. Um, we want to see what is happening from x to y. And if the same thing happens to all of them, then it's our, our, uh, our equation. So 1, I'm going to say it's 1 times 6. Let's see if that works for everything. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 6 is 24, and 5 times 6 is 30. So y equals 6 times x. Okay, whatever x is. So in this case, it's 2. So x is 2. I put that in my equation here. 2 times 6 is 12, so my output would be 12, which is what it shows on the chart. Let's go over here. Now this is tricky, 0 to 0, because it could be anything. So let's go here. 1, one times... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so 1 times 15. 2 times 15. Does 2 times 15 get me 30? Yep. 3 times 15 gets me 45. 4 times 15 gets me 60. Okay, so, and if I do 0 times 15, it's also going to get me the output, which is 0. So y equals 15 times whatever the input is. Let's look at these here. We want to graph these. Um, we know we have our x, x over here. We know we have our y over here. So, input... If I input 1 as the x, so 1 goes here, 1 plus 4, the y is going to be 5. five. I could also do 0 here, put 0 in. 0 plus 4 is 4, okay. And then if I put a 2 in here, 2 times 4, or 2 plus 4 is 6. If I put a 3, 3 plus 4 is 7. If I put a 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. And I can keep going on and on and on. And this forms a straight line, which means it's a linear function. Let's go over here. Let's start with 0. 0 times 2 is 0, plus 0.5 is 0.5. Right there. Make that 1. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 0.5 is 2.5. So 1 is 2.5. There we go. Now let's put 3. 3 times 2 is 6, plus a half is 6.5. Right here. Now let's put 4 in there. 4 times 2 is 8, plus a half is 8.5. So go like that. And these form a straight line. So it too is a linear function. Okay, this one. Put 0 in here. 0 times 0.5 is 0 plus 1, so 0 and 1. And let's put 1 in there. 1 times a half is a half.
All right, I just realized I did this whole page and didn't have the recording going. So you can see my work. I'm going to use a blue pen to go over what I just talked about that you didn't hear because I wasn't recording. Okay, so I have here a 1 and then a 1. And what's happening is 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 times 4 equals 16. So I can see that it's x times x. So this would be one way to say the equation. Y, my output, is always going to equal the x times x. Another way to say it is y equals x squared. So if I would have 5 here as my next one, 5 squared, 5 times 5, is 25. 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, okay? So I have my formula there, and then if uh, I want to graph it, I start with 1. 1 and 1 is right there. 2 and 4 is right there. 3 and 9 is up here. 4 and 16 is going to be way up there. And if I do 0, you're right here. And so it goes like that. It's not a curved line. So C says, is this a linear function? And no, it is not a linear function. Why is it not? Because it's a curved line. Curved. If it was straight, if it's a straight line, then it is a linear function. But this is not a straight this has a curve to it, and so it is not linear, okay?